You're a Christian. Many members of the House uh, have preached and voted as Christians. Lauren Boebert is one of them, who has invoked God and Christianity and values very often. She was caught doing something that was a little unseemly on camera the other day. What do you say to Lauren Boebert? I say that if you're going to talk the talk, you need to walk the walk. I mean, we all answer to God. Not everybody's a Christian just because they say they believe in God. I mean, Satan believes in God. Satan knows scripture. She's out there saying the most dangerous thing in America is drag shows, and yet she's at a family event with her hand between some guy's legs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I don't know about in public. Do it in private, but she's a good-looking girl. <laughs> I want to talk about Lauren Boebert a little bit. Have you heard what's been going on? Have you seen the stuff recently? All right, so she was in a theater the other day. Uh, this is a person who said that drag shows are the most dangerous thing in America, and she's at a family event, and she's basically got her hand between some guy's legs and caught on camera. What do you think about that hypocrisy? I mean, here's the deal. I think at the end of the day, we can all be hypocrites at certain times in our lives. And, you know, for me, if God saved that in me and, you know, understanding what's right and what's wrong and leading my life through faith and choosing not to do those things. I think that a lot of people put on a show for camera versus when they think that they are behind closed doors, Governor Newsom, certain other people, Pelosi, what they're doing when we're all shut down in a pandemic. It's a lot of people do things behind closed doors. Are you aware of what happened with Lauren Bowie? Yeah. And what do you think of that? And, you know, she's talking about family values and then she's at this family. She was wrong. It was inappropriate what she did. So we all know that Lauren Boebert was never popular. They refused to acknowledge God as God. They knew him perfectly well. And since they wouldn't bother with him, he quit bothering them. And soon they even forgot how to be human. Women forgot how to be men. Men forgot how to be men. Women forgot how to be women. Men forgot how to be men. See how confusing the Democrats get us? Because extremists are scared has of what? Expired. Elon Musk? They Gentle think social media censor doesn't expired. go far enough, and this needs to be defunded. No, no longer recognized. To do here, and unlike some of our colleagues on the other side, we're not interested in censoring other people's speech. We want the whole world to see how the gentlelady from Colorado speaks in public as a member of Congress. We want everyone to look at that. Even among the Republican voting base. We need to start with this lying, Islamophobic, race baiting, violence inciting, white supremacist sentiment spreading, Christmas tree gun toting elected official who is out here straight up calling her colleagues terrorists. Headaches, numbness, dizziness, a cancer that would put them in a flag draped coffin. I know. One of those. While new fundraising numbers are also out for what is expected to be one of the closest House races next year. According to FEC filings, Colorado Democrat Adam Frisch raked in more than two and a half million dollars from April to June in what is his second bid to unseat Republican Lauren Boebert. This past November, Frisch fell just 546 votes, just 546 short of defeating the incumbent congresswoman, who is not shy for controversial and frankly, sometimes downright offensive comments. And now a new ballot initiative coming out of Colorado could literally destroy Lauren Boebert's chances of winning re-election because a good old thing called ranked choice voting is creeping its way into the consciousness of the American citizens. Let's use this to show you how ranked choice voting works. So here's all 13 of them. And let's just say, for the sake of explaining things, that this is how people actually voted. Uh, that's what the returns end up looking like. 28% say Adams is their first choice, Garcia. 19% uh, say Garcia is their first choice. The way ranked choice voting works is you go and you rank my first choice, my second choice, my third choice, and, and so on. So let's say these are the first choice totals, just to show you how this works. The way what what happens is whoever comes in last place, so in, the, in this case it would be this candidate here, Foldenauer, would get eliminated. So Foldenauer would be eliminated, and then anybody who voted for Foldenauer, and in this poll there aren't too many of them, but anybody who voted for Foldenauer, what they would then look at is, okay, on those ballots, those Foldenauer voters, 
Who was the second choice? You know, maybe some of them would have picked Adams. Maybe some would pick Stringer. Some would pick McGuire, whatever it would be. They would reallocate those votes. People who voted for Foldenauer, he'd be eliminated. Their second choice would be reallocated you know, to whoever they had picked for their second choice. And we know that corruption is really the biggest problem that the United States political system faces. But another huge issue that we have is the fact that we can only vote for one person at a time in each election. And so that becomes a vote against the other candidate, which keeps our system locked in two parties. But with ranked choice voting, that'll give people the opportunity to, you know, put who they would prefer first instead of who may be strategic or put in the person first who has all the resources and has all the backings behind them. Oftentimes, we simply can't go with who we really want because they don't have a real shot. We got to play the game the way that it works. But with ranked choice voting, we could play the game more in a democratic way. We could actually put people in place that we would like. That would allow for more parties to be a part of the government as well in a broader scale if we were to do this at a federal level. But we'll, we'll start at Colorado. You know, we'll, we'll start one state at a time. We'll, we'll take our time as we go along. But of course, Republicans always do everything they can to keep people from voting because don't nobody want to vote for them when they have a choice and when they show up to the polls. People don't want to vote for their rights to be taken away from them overwhelmingly. And so, you know, go rank choice voting. Go Colorado. Show up to the polls. Get Lauren Boebert out of office and get rank choice voting a reality in the state of Colorado. Let's do it.